Welcome to ToxChem's version 4.0 tutorial 2, running the simulation and data exporting. We begin tutorial 2 with the same layout you saw in tutorial 1. The first thing we are going to do is run the simulation. This is done by clicking the calculate button. Once the layout has been solved, click OK to continue back to the layout screen. We can toggle through the contaminants by clicking on the drop down arrow beside the contaminant display menu. Here we see the same four contaminants from tutorial 1. For this example, we will choose chloroform. Notice the colors corresponding to the emissions hotspots menu. In this layout, there is no greater than 3% processes, which would have been represented by an orange rectangle. To turn the hotspots in the layout off, we click View, hold our mouse over Toolbars, and click Hotspot from the pop-up menu. To make them reappear, the same process is followed. You will notice at the bottom of the Toxicum window the fate summary tables. First, the overall mass balance table, and second, the contaminant fate table. We will first look at the overall mass balance table. This table shows where the contaminant is going and how much of it by mass and percentage is going there. Here, 5.3% of chloroform is going to wastewater. Above this table is the show graph button. Clicking this brings up the overall system summary graph. Here, the percent total of contaminant is plotted against the various fates, such as air emissions, wastewater, and biodegradation. To use this graph in a presentation, simply right-click and choose Copy from the pop-up menu. In your presentation, right-click again, and this time choose Paste from the pop-up menu. This feature is very useful in delivering the results from your layout and saves you the time required to make the graphs. Clicking the Emissions Summary tab brings up the Emissions Summary graph. In this graph, the number of grams of contaminant released per day is plotted against each process. This is done to show which of the processes are contributing the most to air emissions. Beside the Show Graph button, there are the Export Data and Copy Table buttons, which allow users to utilize the data in Microsoft Excel and various other programs. We will now move on to the Contaminant Fade table, where the source and outgoing contaminants are shown for each process. Additionally, the amount of contaminant that is treated either by air treatment or biodegradation is given in grams per day. The table includes all the processes from influent to sludge effluent. When a user clicks on a process, a blue rectangle pulses around that icon in the layout window. If more data is needed on a specific process, we can right-click on the process of interest and choose View Results from the pop-up menu. In the window that appears, we can choose the contaminant we wish to have more data on from the Contaminant drop-down menu. In this example, the data is split into the following tabs. Influent, Process, Effluent, Effluent Sludge, Effluent Air, and Fate Summary. These tabs give more data on each step of the process. To get the results of multiple processes and streams, we click on Model and then View Results from the drop-down menu. The Output Wizard appears, which starts with Stream and State Choices. In this example, we will uncheck Equalization, Primary Clarifier, Throughpoint, Activated Sludge, Air Treatment, and the anaerobic digester. Under the secondary clarifier, we will uncheck all with the exception of CLEFF. And finally, we will uncheck the belt filter press and wastewater effluent. Moving over to the state choices, we will uncheck volatile SS fraction, oil and grease, concentration of metal in the liquid phase, concentration of metal in both liquid and bound phases, precipitated metal, powder activated carbon, MKP, solubility, and pH. Clicking the next button takes us to the stream order and state order lists. Beneath each list there is an up and down arrow. These are used to change the order in the final table that will be generated. Additionally there is a row and column swap button which changes the rows to columns and vice versa. Finally, click Next to generate our final results table. The output table is for one contaminant, but the contaminant in the top left can be changed using the drop-down menu. We will select Acetone in this example. At the top right of this window, there is an Export and Copy to Clipboard button, which are used to take the table into Microsoft Excel and various other programs. Next, we are going to go to the Database menu on the taskbar and select View Organic Chemical Database from the drop-down menu. Here we are going to create a user-defined contaminant. 
we press the plus sign and a copy of the above contaminant appears. The details of this copy are now available to be edited by the user. We will call our new contaminant test1. Under the properties tab, we will change the CAS number to 108-21-4. The molecular weight to 102.13 grams per mole and the density to 0 0.87 grams per centimeter cubed. Under the stripping tab, we will change Henry's law constant at 25 degrees Celsius to 0 0.01517. Selecting the sorption tab, the log octanal water partition will now become 1.36. The suspended growth box will be checked and its value will be entered as 0, 0.0 under the biodegradation tab, both the aerobic biodegradation rate for sludge and liquid processes will be changed to 0 0.0037. Under Toxchem's new dissociation tab, we will select acid from the drop down classification menu. Next, we will enter the first acid dissociation coefficient as 6.8. We will then click Accept to accept changes to our new user-defined contaminant. We are now going to create a quick select group of contaminants. Select the database menu option from the taskbar and select Edit Quick Select Groups. Click the plus sign next to the Select Group drop-down option list and enter the name Site123 Contaminants. Creating these quick select groups is handy when the user is creating multiple layouts for the same site. Ultimately, this feature saves you time. We will select the same four chemicals as before, acetone, benzene, chloroform, and methanol, but we will add our test one contaminant as well. Click accept to create the new quick select group. To implement this new group of contaminants, right-click on the influent and select Edit Parameters from the pop-up menu. Select the Contaminants tab and click the Add Remove button. Directly under the heading Choices, there is the Quick Select drop-down menu button where we select Site123 Contaminants from the options. We know the change has happened because under the heading Current, Test1 is listed. Click Accept to apply the changes to the model. Here change test 1's concentration to 150 micrograms per liter and click accept again. Note that changing contaminants in one layout does not change them in the others. As we can see here, there are no contaminants selected for a plant ABC no equalization layout. When we change the data such as the number and type of contaminants, the layout needs to be resolved. Click the calculate button to do this. Sometimes we would like to utilize the data calculated by Toxchem in technical reports and presentations. To export the data, we click Model on the taskbar and select Generate Report from the drop-down menu. The Report Setup window appears and under the Layout selection, we will uncheck Plant ABC No Equalization. Under the Options section, we will uncheck Process Image, Input Parameters, and Output Data. Under the File Format section, we will make sure Excel file is selected. Note the box which, when checked, opens the report once generated. Click Accept and save the report as report.xls. If the View Report box was checked, this is what the report should look like. Note the fate summaries for acetone, benzene, chloroform, methanol, and our newly defined test1 contaminant. In the bottom right, we will slide the tab slider over to reveal all the tabs created in the report. This concludes tutorial 2 of Toxchem 4.0. Thank you for watching this Toxchem tutorial. If you are interested in our other software products, such as GPSX, for wastewater modeling and simulation, Kept at Works for preliminary design and costing, 
or WatPro for drinking water treatment modeling, you can visit our website at www.hydromantis.com.